All right, guys, just a simple one today. Weakness work for me, um, three rounds for time, four sandbag cleans. I'm using the 200 pound sandbag. You guys are obviously welcome to use whatever sandbag you want, use heavy dumbbells, whatever it is, and then a 16 cal echo bike. So hopefully a quick four rounder. Um, nothing too special about this one. I mean, it's more of a sprinty workout. This is gonna be um, an echo bike workout, I think for sure. I mean, the sandbag cleans I think are gonna be singles, and then it's gonna come down to who's echo biking the fastest is gonna be who has the best score in this workout. Um, for me, I'm gonna try to hold pretty steady in rounds one and two, and if I'm able to, try to pick up the pace on the back end of this workout. Uh, the goal is always to get off the echo bike, start the sandbag cleans right away, um, and same thing with the, with the sandbag cleans, finish those and get on the bike and try to get it right up to my pace as soon as I can. I don't wanna start at 65 RPMs and then all of a sudden be at 75 RPMs by the end of it. I wanna be getting to that like 70, 72, whatever my pace is right away so I can hold it there throughout the duration instead of having this big difference of biking at 60, 65 in the beginning and then ending at 75, 80. It just means that you're probably went too fast the round before, trying to keep that echo bike consistent, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a rehearsal round now. I'm gonna do probably two sandbag cleans, maybe six to eight cows on the bike, and then finish with one sandbag clean, and then I'll rest and hit this workout. So here goes rehearsal round. Like I said, four rounds, four sandbag cleans, 16 cal echo. Um, my plan for it is I'm gonna make sure that the sandbag cleans every single time I'm getting off the bike and starting the sandbag cleans right away. And right when I finish the sandbag cleans, I'm gonna make sure I get back on the bike right away. I have my goal, or I think, of what I wanna hold on the Echo Bike, but I'm okay if that varies. The non-negotiable in this workout for me is that I'm gonna make sure that I start those sandbag cleans right away. I know that's gonna get real hard, real nasty, but on the sandbag cleans, if you're just standing there, not picking up the sandbag, you're not getting any work done. At least if you're on the echo bike and moving slow, you're still accumulating work. So if I get really messed up doing those sandbag cleans, but I'm getting them done, and then I have to get on the echo bike and start a little bit slow, I'd rather that happen than me commit to a pace on the echo bike to where when I finish the echo bike, I get off and I'm just standing, looking at the sandbag, not picking it up. So that's the goal. See how it goes. Four rounds, four sandbag cleans, 16 cal echo, try to move fast and hopefully that bike looks like I'm moving pretty quick. But I'm gonna start this thing. We're doing it on, be on the whiteboard again. We're giving away a prize. Week one, we had Zero people sign up. Week two isn't out yet. I'm hoping more of you guys sign up. This will be week three. Remember, if you guys log your score on Beyond the Whiteboard, we're giving away a prize to anybody that logs uh, or picking from the people that log uh, between Noble Shoes, Podium Products, Go Wad Membership, Case of Rain, whatever it is, but we're picking it from the people that log their scores. So make sure you guys are hopping in, logging the scores, and We'll see your times, but remember, you guys can scale it. You don't have to use a heavy sandbag. Use whatever you want, use a barbell, use whatever sandbags you got, use an odd object, whatever it is, but uh, let's do this. Let's get after it. I'm gonna sit down. No, I'm not. I'm gonna stand up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that went pretty much how I expected. I was happy. I was able, I think my sandbag split every round was somewhat really close to each other. And then my bike had a little bit of variance, but pretty much the pace that I held every round was like, I was able to get it to that pace right away. For me, I try to make that floor 70 RPMs. And if I could build from there throughout the set, that's fine. But I needed to make sure like right when I get on it, 
the bike's above 70. I'm not sitting at that like 65, trying to guess my breath, trust my fitness, make sure I get it up to 70 right away. And then if I felt like I needed a break before those sandbags, I didn't end up doing it in this workout, but you can maybe back off on your last two calories. Just then start letting it coast back. So right when you finish, you hit that 16 cal mark. You can start your echo bike right away. I was feeling good, so I didn't have to do that, but I like doing that a lot better than starting the bike slow. I feel like it's a good habit to, to build to where when you get on the machine, you're getting on it right away, getting up to pace, letting those RPMs get to that pace that you're gonna hold. Cause once you get it there, it's a lot easier to hold it there rather than trying to build throughout a set. So yeah, that went really good. I was happy with it. Try to guys pick a weight that's challenging for your odd object, but that's it. I, uh, what I did on the bike, I tried to right when I finished the workout, as soon as I finished, try to get a control of my breathing. I try my hardest not to like completely flail after a workout. Don't get me wrong, that happens at times, but trying to stay composed, get your breathing back under control as fast as you can. Um, and then even just sitting on the echo bike, I only did it for about 30 to 45 seconds, but normally I'll sit there, I'll probably get on right after I finish talking and just bike for three to five minutes at a moderate pace just to kind of help flush that lactic out and get ready for my next workout of the day. But log those scores, doesn't matter if you guys scale it, whatever, put in those scores, let's build the community and uh, have some fun.